Another day, another story. Beijing, China's National Center for Space Weather has predicted that there will be moderate to high levels of solar activity this week, with the possibility of more powerful solar flares. Among the most intense phenomena from the sun, solar flares are characterized by sudden bursts of brightness in specific areas of the sun's atmosphere. They are often accompanied by an increase in electromagnetic radiation and the release of particles across various energy ranges. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. Solar flares are rated based on their strength, with A class as the smallest, followed by B, C, M and X as the most potent. According to the center, the sun unleashed a strong solar flare, classified as an X4.5, at 2.35 p.m., Beijing time, on Monday. Scientists at the Space Weather Center issued a forecast on Tuesday, predicting that there is a possibility of M-class and X-class solar flares occurring in the next three days. The sun's tantrums also follow a predictable cycle. According to Wang Jingsong, head of the center, the average duration of a solar cycle is 11.2 years. The first solar cycle commenced in 1755. Currently, the sun is in its 25th solar cycle. The beginning of 2024 saw increased solar activities, with varying degrees of flares erupting in January and February. Chen Ankan, chief forecaster of the center, said the number of X-class flares per solar cycle is approximately 100, and during the peak years, they would occur more frequently at a rate of about 10 to 20 per year. Since the sun has reached the peak of the solar cycle, it is common to experience frequent X-class strong solar flares, Chen added. The solar flares may affect people's lives on Earth. When solar flares occur, they can cause disruptions in the Earth's ionosphere due to their interaction with the sun. These disruptions have the potential to impact navigation and positioning systems, aviation communications, shortwave communications, as well as other emergency communication networks. They may also pose risks to satellites and in-orbit astronauts. However, scientists said the impact of the solar flares on Earth would be minimal. While these flares can carry a significant amount of electromagnetic radiation and high-energy particles, only a small portion actually reaches the Earth. Moreover, our planet is protected by its own magnetic field, which means that even strong flares have little impact on human health, Chen explained, noting that there is no need for the public to worry or take any particular precautions. Scientists believe that the occurrence of space weather events, such as solar flares and geomagnetic storms, is expected to increase in 2024 and the following year. In the face of space weather events caused by strong solar activities, China has established a comprehensive system that integrates monitoring, forecasting and providing pertinent services. According to Wang, the system boasts a monitoring capability to accurately predict and provide early warnings for significant space weather phenomena such as geomagnetic storms. The Chinese Space Weather Center also provides round-the-clock space weather advisory services for global aviation. Aurora, those mesmerizing curtains of light dancing in the night sky, are a stunning result of interactions between the Earth's magnetic field and charged particles from the Sun. It all starts with our powerful star, the Sun, which occasionally unleashes massive bursts of energy in the form of solar flares. These flares can send out a stream of charged particles into space, known as a coronal mass ejection CME. When a CME heads toward Earth, it can interact with our planet's magnetic field. If the conditions are right, these charged particles can be channeled towards the polar regions by Earth's magnetic field lines. As they collide with gases in the atmosphere, particularly oxygen and nitrogen, they release energy in the form of light, creating the breathtaking auroras. Picture this, it's a serene night in the northern reaches of Scandinavia. The air is crisp, and the stars twinkle with a clarity only found in remote corners of the world. Suddenly, a faint glow begins to appear on the horizon, gradually intensifying into vibrant hues of green and purple. This is the beginning of a celestial ballet, choreographed by the forces of our solar system. At the heart of this spectacle lies the Sun, a colossal ball of seething plasma and energy. Periodically, the Sun experiences violent eruptions known as solar flares. 
These eruptions release immense amounts of energy and charged particles into space, including the occasional coronal mass ejection CME. These charged particles hurtle through the cosmos, propelled by the solar wind. When Earth finds itself in the path of one of these CMEs, the stage is set for an extraordinary performance. As the charged particles collide with Earth's magnetic field, they are directed towards the polar regions. Here, in the high-altitude layers of the atmosphere, they encounter atoms of oxygen and nitrogen. These atoms become excited by the energetic particles, emitting light as they return to their normal state. The result? The ethereal glow of the auroras. For millennia, these celestial displays have captivated and inspired humans. In ancient times, they were seen as omens or manifestations of gods. Today, we understand the science behind them, but their beauty remains undiminished. As the solar wind carries charged particles from the sun across the vast expanse of space, a tiny fraction of them embarks on a remarkable journey towards Earth. Guided by the intricate dance of magnetic fields, these particles converge near the polar regions, where they encounter the protective shield of our planet's magnetic field. Here, in the ethereal realm where Earth's magnetosphere meets the solar wind, a celestial symphony unfolds. The charged particles, accelerated by the magnetic fields, collide with atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere, igniting a cascade of luminescence. Oxygen atoms paint the sky with shades of green and red, while nitrogen adds hints of blue and violet to the cosmic canvas. For centuries, these celestial spectacles have captivated observers, from ancient civilizations to modern-day explorers. Inuit legends speak of the spirits of ancestors playing football with a walrus skull, their colorful robes trailing behind them in the night sky. Viking sailors saw them as reflections from the shields of Valkyries, guiding fallen warriors to Valhalla. Today, scientists study them to unlock the secrets of our planet's magnetosphere and better understand the dynamics of our solar system. Yet, beneath the shimmering beauty of the auroras lies a reminder of the awesome power of the sun. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, unleashed by the sun's turbulent surface, can send a surge of charged particles hurtling towards Earth. When these particles collide with our magnetosphere, they can induce geomagnetic storms, capable of disrupting satellite communications, overloading power grids, and even posing risks to astronauts in orbit. Despite the potential dangers, the allure of the auroras continues to draw adventurers and dreamers to the farthest reaches of the globe. Whether witnessed from the icy tundra of the Arctic or the windswept plains of Antarctica, they serve as a reminder of our planet's place in the cosmos and the delicate balance of forces that shape our existence. And so, as the solar wind whispers secrets from distant stars and the dance of charged particles illuminates the night sky, the auroras remain a timeless testament to the wonders of the universe and the boundless curiosity of humankind. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.